Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel with Lupita's Life Journey. Welcome to today's vlog. It would be vlog number eight. There you go, eight. So today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do a, well not do because it's already made, but I'm gonna put iron on on a binder, okay? So if you don't know, and it's your first time watching me, welcome, first of all, welcome. Um, I do sell personalized binders, and today I'm gonna do two of them, okay? So, if that's what you wanna see, keep on watching. Okay, guys, so, I already, so this is the binder that, um, it was ordered with some of the stickers. I have the stickers ready, and I am sorry, but, the sun it is time you know it's like starting to come in but it's okay it doesn't bother me it won't stop me so I already have the design ready to go okay I just have to remove part of the vinyl it is hard to see but I already cut it I did use Cricut for this so this is for one binder these two and this is for the other one okay so let's go ahead and remove whatever needs to be removed to start with um, I will be using the Cricut heat press Just gonna remove the little tiny itty bitty pieces that needs to be removed like here let me see so this is not a tutorial okay this is just me sharing with you guys how I make an order, okay? Did not belong there but I think it looks cute what do you guys say okay so this one's ready okay guys so my phone stopped recording and I didn't notice but what you guys missed was me just removing the iron-on from this design so this is gonna be for the binder that someone ordered on Etsy and I asked this subscriber what design did she wanted just because like uh, she's I don't know I wanted to give her an option now as long as it's not copyrighted it's something that I can't sell I'm more than happy to do it but if it's something that it's copyright or that I will I don't know get in trouble I don't do it um, this one I bought it on Etsy and it's a my how can you say it my excess girlfriend that asked for that binder and she told me she wanted Frida, so I thought that um, Cricut would have a design for Frida, but it doesn't. So I went on YouTube, and that's where I learned that I can buy it on Etsy. Anything that I do, you guys, I learn it on Etsy, okay? So anything, any questions you guys have? Did I say I learned it on Etsy? I learned it on YouTube. <laughs> Oh my god. So for example, I went and see because I know a lot of people is doing the binders with um, um, permanent vinyl. I wanted to do mine with iron-on. Okay, so I went there real quick and I was like, how to put iron-on on 
binders and um, it took me to a video that showed me how so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna use mine to put inside just so that it because if I put it like this it goes like it goes like side sideways so I'm just gonna use this one just to keep it like straight okay now which one am I gonna do first so I'm just gonna make this one let me see it's gonna cover it so I'm just gonna do it here she asked for it to be in the middle but if I put it in the middle it's gonna cover it so I think that's good what do you guys think so if I put it here that would work too this way I can there you go there you go that's not bad because I know and I know you're gonna be watching this video you know who you are I don't want to say your name just in case you don't want me to think oh my god this is like a tough decision because she doesn't want the top design the top design was supposed to be the name of anything either your name or okay so my easy press is ready to go yeah i can't cover the face i'm gonna leave it in the bottom just because i think it will look nicer i wish she would have added i don't know at least some stars or something there we'll see okay so let's do this one so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna make sure it doesn't move okay that's why we're gonna use this just to keep it flat the more flat the better and i'm gonna use this material i do have the heat transfer what they use but i'm using leather and i don't think it will i don't want to risk it what if i don't know so what i did with mine is i put it inside and this is the bag where the heat the easy press comes in okay so there you go it's flat my sticker my vinyl is in place and I know you might not be able to see it but I can see it it's there so now I the tutorial that I saw says that for leather to put it on 280 but I did mine like easily like five times and it just wouldn't stay so we're gonna do 295 okay so 295 <sighs> cross your fingers I'm putting some of my weight just because I don't know I think it works better my heart is beating this is like so exciting for me okay so i'm just gonna see if it stayed see so it needs a little bit it's supposed to come off very easy so let's go one more time make sure i'm not burning my cable So I'm just going to do another 30 seconds just because when I did mine, I did like four tries with the full 30 seconds and it worked. 
I don't remember if it worked on the fourth try or the fifth try. Okay, so we're going to take it out just so you guys can see. So it is hot. Okay. So it stayed, but I can see that a little piece was not done. So I'm just going to put it back and I'm going to give it one more time. Okay. So there you go. Okay, guys. So there you go. I actually like how it feels like it doesn't feel like it has like if it was a permanent vinyl and look what do you guys think what do you guys think I still have to do the envelopes for her but there you go now we're gonna do the next one I'm gonna let this one cool off so she also wanted a purple one and we're going to do purple and here we go. I'm going to do this one first. There you go. I feel like this one is too much writing. What do you guys think? Okay, so I texted the person that asked for this one. And even before I ironed it, I asked her, I told her, you know what? It, for me, in my opinion, it looks like too much. So this one, it needs more probably but this one has way too much so good thing i asked her before and we're gonna remove the writing to freda so there you go we're taking this off and that's what i like with iron on you can have an idea of how it looks before you iron it so I'm just gonna remove all the writing let's try this again and we're just gonna do Freda down here that means I can put her like in the middle since we remove the writing there you go and then i can put the name up here that looks better what do you guys think these are backwards i need to turn these around there you go okay now this one I'm only flipping it just because I noticed that it was backwards. There you go. Okay. This is it. There you go. Okay. I'm nervous, guys. I don't even know why. I'm always afraid that whenever I do something, I'm always afraid that it's going to come out wrong, ugly. <laughs> okay. So again, I'm going to put it in here. I feel safer with this material than, than this. So I'm not going to use that. Okay. So let's go moment of truth there you go okay so 
So I'm putting a little bit of my weight, 30 seconds. If you guys are interested in one of these, I do have them now on Etsy. My link is on the description box below. I do plan on uploading them on my website, but for now they're on Etsy. Okay. Okay, this one seems like it worked from the very beginning. See how it's just peeling off very easily. I'm just going to go through it one more time. Just, yeah, this one lift up. So I'm just going to try it one last time. Maybe because the easy press was already on for a while. Ooh, I don't know. We're just gonna do a couple seconds. Okay. I don't wanna leave it the full 30 seconds because it seemed like it was fine with the first one. I just wanna do. Okay. Look at that. Yes. This is beautiful. I'm gonna go through it one more time, but this time without the little plastic, just to make sure that it stays, and I'm only gonna do like 10 seconds. So here we go. Five, 24, 23, 22, one. Okay. There you go. That's it. That's it, you guys. So, this is it. You want to get yours? Go ahead. You want to do your own? Go ahead. I got this design on Etsy. I just asked the seller if I could, you know, I got the SVG from there, asked if I could resell it she said yes and yeah look at this i am so so happy you guys so happy so these are the two i made look at this beautiful beautiful please give me a thumbs up if you think you like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so we have a little bit of everything I, I am so excited you guys i hope you guys love it because i did i am so excited all right so this is it for today's vlogtober day number eight thank you so much for being here with us until then, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.